Good morning, writers, or good afternoon, whenever it is that you happen to be watching this video. Uh, we are going to talk briefly about what you are going to be working on in writing this week, and then I will be expecting to see that information on the posted assignments. Uh, so first of all, last week you had to enter in all of your notes for the subjects that you wanted to research. Most of you chose animals. I am going to still be following with my Jamaica example though because of um, the original idea of wanting people to do countries. To this week, you're going to be focusing on an outline and prep for getting your rough draft started. First of all, I want you to take notice of something. I'm going to put some notes right here, pictures that I took of a sample student on their note-taking skills that did it the right way. Remember that you were supposed to have your notes underneath websites that went with them. So you'll notice on that that there is a website and then underneath they did notes that went with that particular website and then they continued on with it that way. You need to make sure you are fixing up your notes um, to have that accordingly because I need to be able to know what your sources are and in the future when you're doing the rest of this assignment you'll need to know those sources as well to complete it successfully. The next thing I am going to talk to you about is what your big thing is to, uh, to work on this week which is an outline. And an outline is going to help get your paper organized. Okay, so I'm going to show you a sample outline on here of uh, my country, Jamaica, and what it would look like. This is going to help you with your research if you still haven't gotten everything found for your research yet, and it's going to help you organize your paper for when you start writing it. So if you'll notice, I start first with an introduction. And the introduction, obviously, we've had in papers before, just kind of sets up the reader for what you're going to be writing about. So you want to start with a hook. And then you want to talk about briefly the, the topics that you're going to be choosing. You need to have three to five topics um, that you plan to be writing good paragraphs about. They need to be topics that you can write nice chunky paragraphs on. So here are the list of my five topics that would be for this paper. Now you'll notice that when we're doing this, the outline needs to have Roman numerals. They need to be capitalized um, first, I for one and then I, I, two, blah, blah and continuing and then when you do the first indent in it's going to be an ABC capitalized and then the next indent in has lowercase Roman numerals and you'll see that on my introduction part of my outline. Okay, then I go through and I do an outline continue my outline rather for the rest of my paper and you see that listed on here. I start with the history and I decide from there what do I want to talk about within the history of this country. Then my next topic is going to be on the culture because I thought it would be nice an easy way to segment from history to culture simple enough. So then culture I show what I would be talking about. And then I would do that for each of my topics all the way to the ending um, before I get to a conclusion. And in the conclusion, you want to be restating quickly your topic or your topics that you were talking about um, with regard to your animal or your country. And then you would have some sort of closing statement about your country. Remember that a conclusion is not a place where you would introduce new materials. So please make sure you are not doing that. Okay. And uh, your job for the next day or so is to be working on getting your outline ready to go. If you have questions on that, please feel free to reach out to me on Fast Direct and um, make sure you're getting your outline typed in correctly on Google Classroom. If you are not doing it correctly, you will be graded lower than if you had done it the correct way. Okay, good luck.